This video is about one of our favorites that we make on Thanksgiving time, cheesy cauliflower. And we're going to make the whole meal here. And we start out with some of our sweet potatoes. Those are the ugly ones that had the grooves in them and stuff. And we do sweet potatoes and ham and the cheesy cauliflower. We found this cauliflower at our local store. It was a local grown one. And we got a good deal on it. We um, grabbed a Kirkland spiral ham while we were down there last time. And we're going to... First, we're going to steam up the cauliflower here to get that going. And um, I'm using that juicer. The lower part of it, I'm just going to put a little bit of water in there and then use a steam basket. I'm not going to use the juice section on it. And this is a fairly decent looking cauliflower. So and I wanted to grab it and do a test run because we always do these cauliflowers for Thanksgiving. And uh, they're everybody's favorite, so I'm guessing most of you probably do this also. But I figured, you know, for anybody that hasn't tried it, this is really a great um, treat that a lot of people like. So I'm just going to take off the leaves and just pull out that bottom section there, that tough core section of the cauliflower there. And that all comes apart pretty easy, you can see. A sharp little knife in there and... Get all the leaves out of there, they're kind of buried in there, and you know that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna wash it off. I don't know why I always wash stuff, rinse stuff off because it's going in the steamer anyway, but I'm just gonna, you know, wash it. Say that way, I can say I washed it. And it really is a pretty quick dinner. We've got the uh, ham in the oven now cooking, and we're gonna. Got that pot there boiling now that only took a couple of minutes to come up to a boil. You don't need a lot of water in it. And this is the first time we've tried this um, this pot wood as a steamer. So this will be fun to see how it works. But well, we've carefully put the cauliflower in there and tried to keep from damaging it too much. Boy, that fit nice. And then you just throw the top on and let it start steaming. Now we set the timer for 20 minutes and, you know, let it steam pretty much uh, the whole time and there you can see 20 minutes later it's all it's all cooked up and uh, when you steam them they do have a better flavor than boiling them so you know you're best off if you can to, to steam them for 20 minutes or it depends on the size of the cauliflower bigger one will take longer and uh, you know a smaller one will go a little quicker then you want to try to get it out of there without damaging it too bad put it in a pie plate because it's going to be baked in the oven again anyway. And now here's where we add the cheese to it. And we like to use um, this. We have a real aged dry cheddar that we grind up that we like to use. But it does come out better if you use a yellow, the soft yellow generic cheddar um, ground up like that. Uh, it does have, um, it browns up a little better. And, you know, kids like it better by using a mild cheese. We start out with some mayonnaise, a couple of big spoons of mayonnaise there, and uh, then some mustard. You have to make sure you use yellow mustard with this. That's best. And my wife just kind of mixes a little bit of both of them together there in a bowl. And all you're doing here, you're just kind of, kind of like making a frosting for a cake almost. It's just a, you know, a mayonnaise and mustard frosting for the cauliflower. So she just kind of mixes it up and, um, you know, decides how much mustard to put in there and how much mayo. There's no um, real recipe for it. It's been something that, you know, was handed down from her mother years ago. So, you know, it's just one of those by eye things. Uh, and, you know, you have to play with a couple of them to see exactly what you like the best, I guess, if you haven't done it before. So she's got that mixed up, and now it's time to just spread it on the uh, cauliflower. Try to get the whole thing covered, because it does add quite a bit of flavor there. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of like spreading frosting on a cake. Try to get it as even as you can. Because this is uh, what gives it some flavor, and it also holds the cheese in place. So there it is, uh, you know, pretty much covered. And now it's time to put the cheese on. And this was a big chunk of a, you know, an extra aged, dry, sharp, super sharp cheddar that we're using. But, you know, like I said, any kind of cheese you prefer will work in the, the, um, 
the bright the bright orange cheddar like uh, that you get in a supermarket ground up already or shredded up already um kids usually like the best they don't always like the sharper cheeses so you know if you're making it with kids you may want to go with that otherwise just use your favorite cheese so all they want to do is make sure you got a nice thick layer of it stuck in that mixture that was spread on there and you can see it's just kind of sticks right to the actual uh, that mayonnaise mustard mixture and some of it will drip down around the edges as it roasts so you know you don't have to get the whole bottom edge done but try to get as much as you can on there and that's you know that's pretty much all there is to it it's only a couple minute job to to do this up and uh, like i said we always make it on thanksgiving and everybody always loves it then it's gonna time to go in the oven here and there's a ham that's almost done so now there's room there to, to get the cauliflower in and we were trying not to um, burn the ham itself so my wife just put the uh, temperature up to 325 for half an hour but really we usually use 350 if it's not in with a ham that gives a little bit more of a crusty brown crust on it but anyhow here it is uh, half an hour later and it's basically done you can see the cheese is all melted together and some of it's run down the side there and stuff and the ham is uh, ham's done also so it's real real easy to make meal and you know you can make just cauliflower with turkey or you know just about anything and there's that ham the um these costco hams are really good they're you know pre-sliced and they're they're really reasonably priced and they um the only thing about them is a little bit salty but they have a great light smoky flavor and then you just take that cauliflower and slice it up kind of like a pie just you know cut little slices out of there and try to get them out whole if you can and that's it all ready to eat once it's cooled a little bit and this is what we had tonight we had the ham we had um you know our homegrown sweet potatoes that are sweet as sugar it's unbelievable and we had the cheesy cauliflower and some of the homemade applesauce we had canned up and uh sweet potato bread that my wife had made now, when we eat these hams, we like to go with a um, horseradish-type mustard for the ham itself. Usually adds a little bit of extra flavor to it. And then always, you can't forget dessert. So my wife made a couple of those maple syrup biscottis for me. And, uh, you know, I love those things. And this is what the actual sweet potato breads look like when they were cooked up before I cut them up pieces. And, you know, we've been really enjoying our sweet potatoes. We've just uh, probably eating 20 pounds of these things already. And, you know, and here's a just plain old white cauliflower. And we're going to dress it up a little bit here with some cheese and mayo and mustard and uh, make it taste a little better, too. So I just thought I'd share this with, you know, Thanksgiving coming up. And it's a good idea to, you know, put on the Thanksgiving table. And I'm sure probably many of you already do. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.